What's up, everybody? It is July 30th, Sunday. Um, I'm out of town next week, but I uh, wanted to show you what my plan was for the week and for the rest of the year. Um, last week, we had a really big sale day, and it scared a lot of people, and rightfully so. We haven't seen this kind of selling in quite some time. And, uh, you know, we went from 460 to 450. Uh, I used the opportunity to bounce it. Um, and now let me explain to you why. Um, my thesis is we are in a new bull market. This is just what I believe. We will have pullbacks, maybe up to 5 or 6%. However, the dip will be bought by players who miss the run. There's a lot of hedge fund people that are managing people's money. They got to make it look good. They miss the run. So how can... They go up to their clients and be like, hey, uh, your friend Bob, who bought NVIDIA, is up 3,000%, you know, or whatever, but we're only up five. Like, what the freak's going on? I'm going to let me take my money out, right? So they got to figure out how to make their numbers look good at the end of the year. And so I think they're going to be the dip buyers, and they're going to continue to dip buy. Um, and if I'm wrong, I'm fine, because it's going to be a small fraction. The loss is going to be big, but it's going to be a small fraction of what I gained by doing this since October. Right um, now, let me show you what that looks like. What a five percent six five to six percent move looks like on the spot. So if we were to take it from you know here, you're talking all the way down here to uh, you know four thirty five. Right, that that could be scary. Um, you know, I, I think we're, we'll have more like three percent moves. Um, but what I did was you know I just come in here and I use the uh, this tool here. It's called uh, Fibonacci projection for those of you guys that like the symmetry stuff that's all this is right um so if you were to take it from the top right here you're talking to pull back to on this orange one right if you were to just look at these you're talking a very small pullback but if you were to move it up here right let's let's shrink it down and move it up here if we were to say from this pullback to this pullback then take i'm trying to find this dot where is it? All right. Actually, I'm just going to delete it. Driving me nuts. Do another one. Okay, so we'll go from here to here, all the way up to here. Yeah, you're talking right here. I mean, that'd be great. Coming into the gap close area, 443, 445. I'd love, to, I'd love that. I'd, I'd buy that pullback for sure. Um, now, the bigger one that you see right here on the chart is, this is like a 9% move. I don't think we're going to get these anymore. I think we're done with the 9% drawbacks. I could be completely wrong, but I don't think so. You know, I think they may even go as high as 7, 8 maybe. But, you know, what you got to remember is you've got a lot of people that are going to be chasing. And so... You know, are, are they going to shake out the chasers by going bringing it down 6 7%? Maybe. Maybe they do that once. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to get this big. So for me, you know, this is just way too big of a pullback. Um, any dips that come in that, that 3 to 5% range, I'm all over. Okay. Now, with the understanding of that, uh, the other thing I want you to understand is a lot of companies are going to outperform the indices. I think the indices are going to have about a 5 to 8% run. You know, what does that look like? Uh, you know, if we were to uh, take it from here and bring it to highs, right, uh, that's 5%, right? You know, maybe a little bit higher, 5 to 8%. Um, I don't think we're going to get much higher than that on the indices before Christmas rally. Um, I think the next couple months are just going to be slow chop. Maybe we're up 2 3% after after the next couple months. Um, but again, could be wrong. Um but I do think we're up and to the right. I just think it's going to be much slower. Instead of having something that goes like this, I think we're going to have something that goes more like this, right? Um, and so with that, I think there's going to be companies that outperform. I think Bob is going to be one of them. You know, we got in on this day right here. Uh, as soon as they had news, I was like, guys, this is big. This is big news. So let's jump on it. And here we are. Right? I told you we're going to hit 100 pretty quickly. We, we're there. Now, I think... Uh, we're going to start getting the chasers. And I think it's going to go from 100 to 120 relatively quickly, a lot longer than it took to go from, you know, 80, which was to 80 to 100, which was what, uh, May, June, July. Uh, so May, yes, yeah, so three months. I think in the next three months, we'll be, we'll be at 120 sooner than that. Um, another one that I uh, am adding to the list here is uh for the long-term portfolio is cps they have earnings on the third so just be aware of that uh historically they don't do well through earnings so i would love a pullback maybe into the 16 15 range region so i can grab it 
Um, the idea here is that I think we can get a push into the uh, low low thirties, high twenties, which from where we are now would be about a you know fifty eight percent move if we got it. Right, let's see. Let me make sure. So I thought it was closer to yeah yeah about sixty. Now if we picked it up around fifteen, you know that's where you're talking about eighty ninety percent moves. Um, the problem with this one is I should have I should have seen this when it was around twelve thirteen, but uh, you know that's it's already hooped thirty percent from that point, which is massive, right? Um, but I still think it's good. Now um, the idea here is that they're going to turn to profitability, their revenue is going to go up. Um, and that's what I'm looking at. So if they have earnings that are not good and their their revenues not moving like I want it to move, then I'll have to rethink this idea. Um, for the week, I think the earnings are going to be okay. I think Apple's going to have decent earnings. They're not going to smash it. They're not going to do horrible. Uh, and I think this creates a scenario of chopping with slow grind up action. Um, I do think we get a Christmas rally in November, um, maybe into December. Now for the week, ON has uh, it's a long term stock that I'm in. It has an amazing um, uh, drift 75%, which means it opens, a, it closes above where it opened 75% of the time and a 92% day one and a 75% day five. So I think that would be a good one to, to be playing on the day of if they have good earnings. They are semi, so I think they will. You guys know everything. I, I can't say anything else about AMD. Um, I'm all over it. I love it. Uh, hubs, it, stats are 92% on the earnings move. I'm already in this one. Um, so if, if we do get this move, I'm going to sell into it and then I'm going to use the next couple of days to buy it back. Uh, this is a longer term one that I'm in. Boulder has 92% opening gap as well. I like the idea. GNRC, again, I'm going to dig into this earnings report to see if I want to get into them. I think you could get 200, which is, you know, 25, 30% move. Um, CF is another one that I'm long term in and, uh, you know, 83% earnings move. I'll probably use that if it happens to sell into. Now, these are the ones that I really want to pay attention to. PayPal and Shop, I think they're both going to have really good earnings. Um, when I say really good, I mean in comparison to what expectations are. Um, I think Apple, FTNT, Net, Amazon, I think they're going to be closer to, you know, ah, with kind of what we expected. Um, now, if I was around, I'd be willing to buy a dip on SMCI because 75% opening gap and 83% earnings move with a 75% drift, but I'm not around. So I'm not going to be doing this, um, but that's an idea. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, just let me no.